Hello, my name is Darren, and I am going to be playing some Arkham Horror the Living Card game. Um, I've been playing this game since it came out and really enjoy it, and have been watching a few other people, and they talk about the game a lot, but uh, the only other person that, that plays and shows their videos online is the Whisper in the Darkness, the man from Lang, so... I decided I, I kind of wanted to give it a try and see if I could uh, could do this. Now I'm not probably the best at the game, and uh, but I just really enjoy playing it and wanted to give it a shot. So um, I am playing in Lackey. Um, I will be the first to admit I am not an expert at this, so you probably can't ask me a lot of questions about Lackey itself. Uh, I do like it a little bit better than Octagon, but you know, uh, you do with what you got. Uh, so, I am playing uh, Daisy Walker, and we are playing uh, Higher Education. Uh, so, no. Is that what this one is called? Anyway, whatever. Um, so, we are going, the Higher Education is the card that you can have that's, this one is called, uh, what is this called? Extracurricular activity. It's going to bug me until I found out. So we're going to be playing that. Uh, so uh, we are playing on standard. And uh, let's uh, let's get going. So just a little bit, show you a little bit about Lackey. Over here is your resources. Uh, here is your hand of cards. And of course this is your play area. Um, I typically like to keep my active agenda to the right here, uh, real close to the scenario card, and uh, I keep my uh, uh, investigator card over here as well, and then the mini travels around the map. Um, so first, we'll, I'll show you a little bit more about Latke. Um We will go ahead and reveal the Miskatonic Quad, so if you right-click on a location, because that's where we start... Uh, you click reveal and add clues if any. Of course, the quad has no clues, a shroud value of three. It does have the action resign. We can't find rice anywhere. You leave the campus hoping Armitage will forgive you. We're starting on Agenda 1A, Quiet Halls. You have arrived at the Miskatonic University campus. Sorry, you have arrived at the university, the Miskatonic University campus in search of Professor Warren Rice. Classes are over, and a mysterious silence hangs in the air over the quad. Act 1A, After Hours. Professor Rice was last seen several hours ago by one of Armitage's students in the Humanities Building. So this is my, uh, my starting hand. Um, so I have yet to mulligan. I wanted to do that live, so I could kind of show you a little bit about mulligan, doing a mulligan. I often think this is where people uh, sometimes do get a little bit confused. You start off with your hand of five, then you can discard as many cards as you want from there. So I think I'm going to discard an I've Got a Plan. I think I'll keep the Holy Rosary, but I think I will go ahead and discard Fearless. And I think I'll hold on to No Stone Unturned because it's basically a tutor. All right. So now I'll draw two cards in, re in replacement of that. Blech. If I had drawn a weakness, it would automatically get discarded and then put back into my, shuffled back into my deck. So I'll go here to my discard section. I'll take the cards from there, put it into my deck, and give it a good shuffle. All right, let's go back to my hand, and uh, let's get started here. So I think the first thing I'm going to do... Uh, as a fast action, so this doesn't cause an action, so I still have three. I'm going to go ahead and play my magnifying glass. Second action, I'm going to go ahead and play my holy rosary. Or that's my first action, because this was a fast action, didn't cost a thing. Now you notice my resources are automatically going down based on the cost, so this was a total of three. I have two resources left. <coughs> So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to play No Stone Unturned. It is an event, but the best way i found to do this, if you put it on the table, 
Um, now, No Stone Unturned is already implemented, which is really nice. So it shows you the cards, the, the six cards that you have to choose from. Um, I'm really torn between that Emergency Cash and Renfield. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take David Renfield out of that. Uh, make sure that this says Shuffle um, before you click Done then you don't have to actually shuffle yourself. Uh, so that will go to my discard as well. So I... Uh, first action was play this. Holy Rosary. Second action was to play a No Stone Unturned. Uh, final action will be gain a resource. Click on resources, press plus one, hit done. There are ways to... Uh, automate this a little bit more with some hotkeys, but I will be the first to admit I am terrible at remembering hotkeys, and I'll forget what's what. In fact, there are probably some set now that I've gone in and set and forgotten how to do it. So I just use the buttons here and the right and left mouse buttons. Now that was the investigator phase, not the mythos phase, because obviously you skip the mythos phase during the first first round. Now we go to the enemy phase. There are currently no enemies in play. We go to the upkeep phase where I would draw a card and gain a resource. We go to the mythos phase where I will add a doom to the agenda and draw our first encounter card. It is light of... I am not going to try and say that. I never do. It is packed and power traded. It has the peril keyword, so I can't ask for advice on this. Revelation. You must attach light of this to either the current agenda or the current act. Limit one per agenda slash act. Treat all damage as direct damage and all horror as direct horror. Uh, ooh, I was potentially thinking of using that to kill Renfield. That a, this like any damage so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play Ward of Protection, it's fast it's an event, play when you would draw a non-weakness uh, treachery card, so it is a treachery card cancel that card's revelation effect, so the peril still is in, in, in going on but the revelation effect is, is gone, so I'm going to play that notice I go down to one resource so I'll put this in my discard I'll put this in the encounter discard, and I'll take a horror on my... No, I will actually take a horror. <clears throat> I always do this, I end up not taking any horror, and then I'll have like a um, uh, fearless in my hand, and I can't heal, so it's like kind of like a worthless fearless. So I wanted to go ahead and use that this, this time. Alright, so that is the mythos phase. We will go to the investigator phase. I'm going to use my first action to gain a resource, because I did have to spend one that I didn't really want to spend. Uh, second action is going to be to play David Renfield. Now, David Ren Renfield's ability here uh, says, while David Renfield has at least one Doom on him, you get plus one uh, willpower. Uh, as a free action, you can exhaust him. You place one Doom on him and gain one resource, or Gain one resource for each Doom on David Renfield. So that's a free action, so I'll still have one action after this. So I'm going to go ahead and use his ability, put a Doom on him, and gain a resource for that. He actually is not bad. I've not been seeing him get much love on uh, in many decks, but in this deck especially because his cost is 2, uh, you can get, you know, I've gotten like uh, four resource, like four or five resources out of him uh, before like killing him or discarding him to another another effect. All right, so I still have one action, so I think uh, I'm gonna make sure. So the quad, uh, so the Orn Library has the blue triangle, the Miskatonic quad uh, along the bottom is the locations that it's uh, connected to. Uh, the blue triangle is the first one there on the left, so I can move there. So I'm going to go ahead and, my last action, move da Daisy to the Orn Library. We'll right-click on it, 
and we'll go down to reveal and add clues if any. It goes ahead and reveals it. It does have one clue per investigator. It has a victory value of one, and then it has a shroud value of three, and it says you must spend one additional action to investigate the Orn Library. The Orn Library is a labyrinth of dusty bookshelves and poorly lit halls. That is the investigator phase. We go to the enemy phase. There are currently no enemies. We come to the upkeep phase where we will ready Renfield. We'll draw a card. We'll gain a resource. And we'll go to the mythos phase. We'll add a doom to the agenda. We will check the agenda. So we the doom value is seven. We have two, three doom, so it does not go off. And now we'll reveal our encounter card. Eager for death. It is an omen. Test willpower of two. Increase the skill, the test difficulty for each damage on you. I have no damage, so this is just a two. If I fail, take two horror. So this is uh, three, four, Five versus, so I'm a five versus a two. So I'll go to the chaos bag, I right click on it, shuffle it. I'll reveal a chaos token. That is the cultist. The cultist says minus one, minus three instead. If there are ten or more cards in your discard pile, uh, you can right there where, where I am actually high lit is, uh, says I have two. So uh, that's a minus one. That is a pass. This goes back to the chaos. This goes back to the encounter discard pile. <coughs> and we pass that. We come to the investigator phase. All right. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead as the free action. I'm going to go ahead and uh, exhaust David Renfield. I'm going to add a doom to him. Okay, I'm just counting to make sure. So now I get two resources. Because <coughs> he has two Doom. Uh, one for each Doom on David Renfield. Alright, so that is that. That was a free action, so I still have a three actions. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use two actions to investigate here. So I'm at a five, a six, six to three... I think I'll just take it at that. Six to three. Two actions. Chaos bag. Ooh! That's the lovely little elder sign. Now, I don't have any tomes out, so I don't get to draw any cards. And that is just a plus zero. But it is nice to just kind of see it. So take a clue. And add a clue here. And this goes to the chaos bag. I go ahead and shuffle, even though I don't necessarily have to. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and be brave and use my last action. This takes three. I have one. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the Humanities Building. Just to make sure, the Humanities Building has the red uh, with the square. The Orin Library says that I can move. As you can see, it's the second one here. I can move to the red square, so I go to the Humanities Building with my last action. I will go ahead and reveal and add clues. It does get two clues per investigator. <coughs> Pardon me, it has a shroud value of three. Forced at the end of your turn, if you are at the Humanities Building, discard the top X cards of your deck. X is the amount of horror on you. I have, this is the end of my turn, I have one horror. So I will take my deck... I discard X. Uh, no. I tell you what, we'll just we'll we'll do it this way. We'll draw it and then just discard it. No, oh, that is her tote bag, which is kind of a bummer. All right, that is my turn. Enemy phase. There are currently no enemies on the board. Upkeep. We will draw a card, and we will gain a resource. Would have really liked to see a way to get rid of Renfield here soon. Uh, David Renfield gets ready. Um, 
Alright, we come to the Mythos phase. We add a Doom to the agenda. So we're at 3, 4, 5, and our uh, Doom threshold is 7. We will draw an encounter card. Um, so he will spawn at the location with the most clues. So he actually spawns uh, with me, because there are two clues, there are no clues anywhere else. So he spawns at my location, which means he just spawns in my threat area. Um, I have an idea here. Alright, so we're going to go to the investigator phase. Alright, so... Uh, David Renfield's action is a free action. You can use free actions um, and not take attacks of opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and use his ability. I'm going to add a Doom to him and gain three resources. All right, first action, I'm going to fight uh, this Thrall. It has a combat of two. I also have a combat of two. Um, I'm just going to go right at it. Chaos Bag. And the Chaos Bag says, Minus one! Oh no! He has Retaliate. So I would take a damage on a Horror. I'm going to put that damage and Horror on David Renfield. David Renfield will go to my discard pile. <coughs> what an idea! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take this and put it back in the Chaos Bag. Shuffle. All right. So um, now I'm going to fight him again, except this time I'm going to use an I've Got a Plan. I've Got a Plan is a three-cost event. Notice the uh, it goes ahead and, and subtracts that as a five-cost event, or a three-cost event, sorry. It's uh, Insight and Tactic Traded. Oh, I was going to say Mark can use this. But Mark, why would Mark want to use his intellect instead of his fists? I don't know. Fight. This attack uses intellect. You deal plus one damage for this attack for each clue you have. Max th plus three damage. So I have one clue, so as long as this connects, it's going to do two damage. He has two health. His combat is two. This is a five versus two. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pitch my other ward of protection for its uh, question mark icon making this a six to two i just want to be sure we're gonna pull a chaos that is a zero so that's a pass this goes back to the bag this goes to my discard we have defeated him and he goes to the encounter discard so that was action uh two Action three, I'm going to go ahead and investigate here. I am a five, six versus three. I will uh, shuffle up the chaos bag. We'll pull a chaos token. That's a minus one. That's a pass. We'll take one clue. And that is the end of my turn. Um, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to just draw that and put it in my discard pile because I have a horror. This is the end of my turn. X is amount of horror. I just have one. Okay. Uh, enemy phase. There are currently no enemies. Upkeep phase. I will draw a card. <coughs> and I will gain a resource. I will go to the Mythos phase. We'll add a Doom to the agenda. So now the Doom thresh or the Doom is four out of seven, so we are in good shape there. We'll go ahead and do another encounter card. This time it is the lovely Whooper Wills. Whooper Wills have aloof and the hunter trait. So it will um, spawn here in my location, but it does not automatically engage with me. It has a combat of two. Uh, one health, uh, four agility, um, has aloof and hunter. Each investigator at the Whooper Wills location gets uh, minus one of everything, willpower, intellect, uh, combat, and agility. I'm not that concerned about that. We'll go to the investigator phase. I'm going to play this. It does have fast. I have two hand slots, and this is taking up one 
this is taking up the other. So I still have three actions. So this is a five, six, seven. So it's a six because of the whipper wheel, six to three. I'll just go ahead and take my chances here. Six to three. Let's see what the cast bag has to say. Skull. Skull is minus one. If I fail, I do not. So I'm not going to read the rest of that. Uh, this goes back to the chaos bag. I get that clue. And I'm at three clues. Uh, that was my first action. I still have two actions left. And I have enough clues to now uh, move the agenda along. Or the act along. So I th think I'm going to go ahead and do that yep so this is not take an action so i'm going to use my clues to flip this <clears throat> you are unable to find professor rice but one of the students you spoke with mentioned a strange man entering rice's office unfortunately the door leading to the faculty offices is locked at this late hour the student says that the head janitor, Jazz, might be able to let you in if you can find him. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and the set-aside Jazz mulligan into the encounter deck. I'm going to go ahead and do that. The encounter discard pile is right here. I'm going to go ahead and take that stuff, put it in the encounter deck. Then I believe if I go to a side, Jazz mulligan is right there. I will put him in the encounter deck. Go back to my hand. Sometimes you have to go to deck before you can go to hand, and now I'm there. Um, now we'll shuffle this. All right. Okay, now we go to the next act, which will be... Well, it's kind of funny. It doesn't tell you to go on to, to two. Maybe it told me on the other side. I don't know. No, I wouldn't know. Act <coughs> 2A, Rice's Whereabouts. Let's go back to my hand. <coughs> Pardon me. Rice's whereabouts. Concerned for Professor Rice's safety, you seek out the head janitor who can let you into the locked sections of campus. As an action, you can spend one clue, discard the top five cards of the encounter deck, top ten instead if there is one player in the game. Forced. If you discard Jazz Mulligan for any reason, resolve his revelation effect. Objective. When you take control of Jazz Mulligan, advance. So I still have two actions. Um, I kind of don't really want to be with the uh, Whooper Will. So I should be able to go to the, um, Miss the Quad, which I can. It has the plus sign. And at the bottom of the Humanities Building, plus sign. So I'll move one to the quad, and then I think I'm going to, again, I try not to metagame this too much, since I kind of know what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and use my next, my last action to go to the uh, student union building. Uh, the quad has the green triangle, uh, or green diamond, this has the green diamond, so I can go there. Uh, we'll go ahead and right click on it, reveal and add clues. Um, it does get two clues. It has a one shroud forced after the student union is revealed, but the set aside dormitory is into play. So let's go to a side. Nope, that's in locations. Let's go to locations, uh, dormitories. We'll just put that here. Uh, all right, we'll go back to my hand. That is um, that is my three actions. So the enemy phase, um, the whooper will will move to the quad because of Hunter. He moves one location towards the investigator, so he moved one. Uh, upkeep phase, I will draw a card and I will gain a resource. Ooh, that is actually really nice. Wish I'd have had that earlier. I think it might be a little too late to try and put out the old book of lore, just time-wise, but we shall see. All right, so we'll go to the mythos phase. On the agenda, we will add a doom. 
So we're five out of seven on the encounter phase, or encounter card. Wizard of Yogg-Sothoth. His prey is least cards in hand. He has a four combat, three health, three agility. He has uh, the hunter keyword forced. When the engaged investigator draws a hex or pax card, uh, he's going to attack. So he actually just engages me. That is kind of terrible. Hmm, that's not going to be easy to deal with. So we're going to the investigator phase. Hmm. Let's see, can I evade him? Whew. Now we're in a tough situation. I really like Daisy. Uh, she's probably my favorite gator, but it's situations like this where I don't have shriveling. Um, I don't have... I had to use the... I've got a plan that I found earlier, and I don't even have clues, so it wouldn't do extra damage. Um, hmm. Yeah, gaining gaining this guy is probably that might make this near impossible. I mean, I guess I'll try to evade him. There is the plus one. I mean, what is in a standard uh, cast bag on this? Does, hold on. You can't answer me. I was going to ask if anybody knew how many plus ones there are. I think there's just one. I mean, even the elder sign doesn't help me because her elder sign effect is a zero. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to just... It's moving along pretty good. Um, but that guy, I mean, I could... Let's let's take a turn just, just trying. I think it's worth worth trying. So we're going to shuffle this up. Draw an encounter, or draw a chaos token. That's a skull. Minus one. If I fail, discard the top three cards of my deck. Uh, one. Two. Three. So Lissagram, Research Librarian, and a shortcut. Shortcut would have been nice. I think that has a an agility icon on it. <laughs> Alright, um, here goes attempt two. Minus three. And here goes attempt, uh, three. Minus four. Wow! That just went worse and worse. Alright, so that's me. Enemy phase. Uh, he's going to attack. I'll put the two horror on the holy rosary so it gets discarded. I'll take a damage. Um, upkeep phase, I'll draw a card. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, I think... I think, I think we've... Uh, yeah, I was hoping to get something... Mythos phase will add a doom and uh, draw an encounter card. It's probably going to be another enemy. Hex. So 
So he will attack. Do one damage. Damage. And two horror. Um, after I take one or more horror, so I took two horror there. Um, no, oh, I just take one direct damage, I think, if I read that right. So it reads, um, after you take one or more horror, which I did, you take one direct damage. So that's, uh, so that's, uh, I took a horror from his attack when I drew a pack or a hex. Peril, choose one of the following card types, asset, event, or skill. Um, I'll choose skill. And uh, that whiffs. Um, boy, I can't move. If I, oh, he would have moved down here as well during the enemy phase. Um, I mean, I have no chance of making that. If I'd have pulled that shortcut, I would have played shortcut to go to the quad, and I would have used the action, the resign action, because the things that don't promote attacks of opportunity, fast actions, like uh, shortcut, for example, although I think shortcut says there has to be no enemy. No, that's Pathfinder. Uh, shortcut, so I could have used shortcut to move, he would have come along with me because he's in my threat area, but I could have used it to move. And then the other things that don't uh, promote attacks of opportunity are fight, evade, resign, which is this ability here on the quad, or um, parlay. So those are the actions that do not... Uh, promote attacks of opportunity. Um, I've been having a little bit better luck with this deck, but um, yeah, seeing him this early really put me in a hurting bad. Uh, so I don't know if I'll publish this. This is my first attempt at a recording, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, you can find me, if you want to find me online, I'm in the Discord server as Jacques Steampunk. I'm on Reddit as Jacques Steampunk. I'm on Arkham DB and Fantasy Flight as Jacques Steampunk. The only place that I'm not Jacques Steampunk is on Facebook, where I just go as Darren. Uh, but yeah, feel free, uh, drop me a line if you play and lackey and are interested in uh, playing along with me. Uh, you know, I'd always be up to playing with somebody. Playing by yourself does get a little boring, but uh, yeah. Feel free to shoot me a message and we can play together. Until then, thanks for watching.